right now for, for question 15. Consider an open economy with fixed prices and wages and perfect mobility. So we're given a bunch of equations, some very familiar, like uh, consumption equation, your investment. As, as usual, government spending and taxes are exogenously fixed. So we have an open economy, and then we have our net exports, where we have our exchange rate as well, and we have our money market equilibrium. So now, these are the parts which has to be in mind when we answer the questions. Now for the first part of question 15. So they're saying that central bank increases money supply. So we are supposed to find the effects on the exchange rate and the output. So first thing, is there a balance of payment equilibrium? So yes, and we assume that there is perfect capital mobility. So the second thing to note is, is there internal equilibrium? So what is internal equilibrium? So it is the point where LM intersects your IS curve. So which is the equilibrium between your goods market and your money market. And do we have that? Yes, we do. So we can see that the economy is in an internal and external equilibrium, which is determined by our IS and LM, and external being determined by your balance of payments equilibrium. So now we are given an increase in money supply. So this should be easy. It is a shift in the LM curve to the right. So you can see we shift the LM curve to the right. And now with the interest rates, as you can see from I1, which is lower than our foreign interest rates, what should be the first thing that we see? So we should know that there isn't an external equilibrium. So balance of payment equilibrium is not existent. How about internal equilibrium? When we see our LM curve intersect our IS curve, we know that there is a internal equilibrium. Now since we know that interest rates of our domestic country is lower than what than what is out there in the foreign exchange, huge outflow of capital leads to more people selling the domestic currency than the amount of people buying the currency. So what does this mean? And what is the impact? So first thing is the exchange rate falls. So remember, this is all conditional on the assumptions that we made earlier about perfect capital mobility, which is given by the horizontal line of our balance of payment and flexible exchange rates. So an example is because people choose to find places to put their money where they have the highest returns. So when we know that, let's say, Singapore's interest rates is lower than maybe America, so what would people do? So we would sell our Singapore dollar, okay, and to deposit in foreign checking accounts or deposit accounts, we need to get US dollars. So when we see the demand and supply of SG, SGD, which is Singapore dollar, so a big sellout would essentially means that there is a decrease in demand. So a decrease in demand, which means there is a huge supply of Singapore dollars on the exchange market. So you can do it by mo moving our supply curve of SGD outwards, and then this would mean that the whole value, weighted value of Singapore dollar essentially decreases. So now what happens? So now we know that exchange rate is lower, interest rates are lower, as given from this graph. It means our exports do better because our exports are cheaper. And it is it might not be the same for every country, but essentially an export-based country like Singapore would definitely do better. And given that interest rates are lower, firms, are, firms tend to invest more by borrowing more. 
so IS curve will shift to the right. And note that the shift is not one off shift, it is a continuous adjustment towards the equilibrium. And ultimately, we will see this. So, do we have a balance of payment equilibrium here? Yes, we do. How about internal equilibrium? Yes, we do as well. So, what is the ultimate effect on output? Output increases and our exchange rate depreciates. So now, question 15b. We are given a money market equilibrium equation. Thanks for watching a sample of the Quickonomics online learning experience. We hope you've enjoyed it. We believe that true happiness lies in realizing ambitions and dreams. That's why we make our products specific to your needs. Simple to understand and captivating, so that you can learn effectively while saving time, realizing those ambitions and dreams. The Quickonomics online learning experience is a range of supplementary lectures, tutorials, and exam solutions in the form of videos, which you can conveniently view anytime, anywhere. Watching our videos before and after your regular lessons at school, we aim to give you joy in learning and build academic confidence at the comfort of your own relaxed learning environment. So how can you begin? We welcome you to purchase Quickie Dollars to redeem the videos for full access to the Quickonomics online learning experience. Thank you for starting with Quickonomics.